Hi everybody, welcome back to Cruise Travel Life. And today we are at sea on board the beautiful Freedom of the Seas. I'm quickly filming this intro because we have the Taste of Royal lunch um, at 11.30, it's about 11.25. Now I have to run to Giovanni's to do the Taste of Royal lunch. I'll see you guys after that. I'll talk about more about what we've done this morning and all. So I'll see you guys after our Taste of Royal lunch. Everybody, I'm sitting out on our balcony in the sun lounger. It's really nice out today. Um, we hadn't really done much at all today. Um, we got back from the Taste Royal lunch, which I'll talk about in a second. But this morning we did breakfast. I went down to the Cafe Promenade because I kind of got up late and it was close to our lunch. So I just grabbed some pastries from Cafe Promenade, brought them back to the room and ate them on the balcony. Then it was pretty much time to head to the lunch. Um, lunch starter the or the first course of four was the tuna tartar. I don't like fish. I don't like raw fish. I don't like anything to do with like salmon fish stuff. So I didn't really like it. But when we told our waiter that we didn't like it, um, they brought us some salads. So we were able to try. I didn't grab a picture of the salad because I wanted to eat it quickly because the second course was about to come out. But I'm just not a tuna person. It's a personal preference. Second course was the crab meat risotto. That was really, 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 really good. Definitely love that. If I definitely ever head to Giovanni's where that is, I will probably get that. And then the third course was filet mignon and shrimp, so surf and turf. Oh, this one's coming up. And that was really good. The steak was so tender and juicy. The sauce it was with was good. It was cooked good. It was great. The shrimp was good as well, but I was focusing on that steak because it was really good. And that was from Chops. And then finally, we had the fried cheesecake from 150 Central Park. That was one of the reasons I want to go to 150 Central Park. So now that I've had it, I don't really feel the need to go to 150 Central Park now. But yeah, that was a really good option. We came back and I just kind of hung around on deck four for probably like two or three hours at this point. I can't see what I'm filming. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna get ready for Caribbean night. I'm gonna set up a time lapse while I shower as we slowly move along. We're not even really moving, we're moving at like two knots, two miles per, two miles per hour. Um, I'm gonna set up a time lapse while I shower just to get some filler content. Shower, get ready for Caribbean night, my favorite main dining room menu. And then we'll see what we get onto get into tonight there's a production show and that's the last night so who knows what we'll get into so let's get ready for dinner Everybody, it is the end of our last night here on board Freedom of the Seas. Let's head back to dinner because I haven't talked since then. Um, for the appetizers, I got the crispy coconut shrimp as well as the Asian style pork tacos. Those were both really, really, really good. I love those two appetizers. 
they're on the Kirby Night menu. I wish they were on every night. They are so, so good. I would recommend both of them. For the main course, I got the garlic tiger shrimp. Really good. Love it. I love all those things. They're from old menus. They're on the new menus. Great, great, great. Definitely recommend this entire menu. And then the pineapple sunshine cake I got for dessert was really good as well. Uh, it's like a pound cake with, with like a whipped cream icing and then um, pineapple on top. So it's really, really, really good. Um, just all of it together. Then we went to the show Once Upon a Time. It was like the different fairy tales like Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, Ta um, Tangled Rapunzel, whatever the actual name of it is, um, A Little Red Riding Hood, all those all together in a musical. That's basically what it is. It was really good. Um, definitely would recommend seeing it if you're on Freedom or I don't know if any other ships have it. We definitely would recommend seeing it if you're on a ship that does have it. Um, tomorrow we do have to get off. We have like an 11 o'clock flight, so we're getting off the ship about 8 o'clock. Uh, headed over to the Miami airport and headed on home. We did have a really fun time doing Liberty of the Seas into Freedom of the Seas. It was so much fun. Our first like back-to-back -back kind of experience. I feel like most people do an actual back-to-back -back before they do like a side-to-side -side, like what we did. But um, we did it first. We wanted to knock off both of these ships and you know they're both three and four night ships so we just lined it up perfectly. Had a great great time on board the, uh, Freedom especially. Uh, I definitely was thinking today I was like there's some other ships I want to do first but like I would definitely loop back to this class of ship done independence before. Definitely want to do that and vlog it and all but um yeah, I definitely want to loop back and hit, especially this one because we weren't on it really long enough to get a full fuel but when it jumps to seven nights and all if it stays there maybe we can hop on it again for a longer sail and get to see both shows because we we didn't get one of the shows not like we didn't see it they just didn't show it because it's such a short length but get to truly see everything this ship has to offer and today we are on the saddest day of our freedom of the seas cruise we are disembarking and unlike last time we had to disembark the ship we are actually disembarking this time and headed home we had a great seven days we spent the first four days aboard liberty of the sea go check those videos out i'll link them down below and then the day we got off liberty we came over to freedom down in miami and boarded her for a wonderful three-day weekend cruise we had a great time on both cruises we had a great time on this cruise but we do have to go home unfortunately and head back to reality so come along as we fly home we're flying southwest again and um we have to head off the airport soon because we have kind of an early flight it's at 11 o'clock but it's about eight now and we have gotten breakfast in the wind jammer so let's head off down to deck four and head off the ship as we unfortunately have to head home Hi right, everybody, we are officially off Freedom of the Seas. We had a great time, just three nights. Definitely want to do longer because I didn't feel like we got to see everything uh, or experience like all the shows and all. Just because it's such a short cruise. Have to get so much packed in such a short amount of time. I didn't even realize that there were other ships today. Whoops. At the Pearl. And now I have to turn this off because we're going through customs. See you guys when we get to the airport.
All right, everybody, it is the end of the series. It is months later. Sorry it took forever to get these videos out. Just got a little busy. Um, we had a wonderful time doing this trip. I know I mentioned it on the, the earlier in this video, but we just had a wonderful time doing this trip. Uh, our first cruise in a suite. We did two cruises, seven nights, four on the Liberty, three on the Freedom. Such an amazing time. Uh, what's next for the channel? Uh, starting soon, or next week probably, is the Allure of the Seas. We booked a semi-last minute cruise. It was like a I think it was exactly four weeks out when we booked it. Uh, Semi-last minute cruise on the Allure. Um, four nights, the same, basically the same itinerary we were on for Liberty. We had some weather changes. So our um, first last-ish minute, last -ish minute cruise, we had some itinerary changes. So uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching this Cruise Travel Life video. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever we upload a brand new video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.